Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Twitch 80 carry here in season 12. He's in a really good spot. As long as you're patient and you don't force anything too soon, you'll be good to go. When I say force, Twitch has a massive level six power spike. So even if things are hard early, as long as you don't die and you can make it to level six, you kind of just win for free. For your runes, take press the attack with triumph alacrity coup de grace, biscuits with magical footwear, attack speed 80 and armor. You could go for, uh, the life still instead of alacrity that works too we just went in for more damage since we have an enchanter support you don't need bloodline as much if you have like a lulu or soraka something like that twitch can play with all in supports or enchanter supports just do keep in mind the matchup for example lethal tempo vein is going to have more damage over time than we will in a raw fight to the death pre-6 so if we're equal hp we're not going to take like an all-in fight to the death it wouldn't make sense you don't want to leash longer than 137, otherwise you'll be late to the first minion. So once it hits 137, basically you're giving a seven second leash. Get your E level one. You're gonna get your, usually Q level two, W level three. We're not getting to auto them yet because Rocket took the uh, Enchanter one. Ended up missing that minion. I thought she had another charge of it still. That's fine. Five out of six, we'll take it. Now when she goes up the last hit, we'll punish her. Pike's Q was on cooldown there for a second. On top of that, if she trades autos with me, she misses minion. If she doesn't trade autos with me, then she eats an auto for free. So she's in a lose-win situation. Or just basically a lose-lose. Closer you are to the minions, the easier they are to last hit, because your auto attack will get there faster as a ranged champion. So if you do have control of the wave, try to stand closer to the minions if you have the option. You really need to focus on what your backline minions are hitting because they're truly what push the waves, the backlines and your cannons. Your melees do way less damage than your ranged. And it's also easier to tell what your melees are hitting because they'll be right on top of it. A lot of times your range will be hitting like things you wouldn't be expecting them to. We are shoved up pretty far. But since their jungler started bot side, he got a leash. He's not likely to gank us first. We're going to queue back. He gets the stun. I'm going to have to heal Soraka to speed her up. This is actually really dangerous because Vayne's been building up her lethal tempo. We're going to auto attack E reset. We're going to hit a potion and our biscuit. Get a war down, auto attack W reset, auto attack Q reset. That actually wasn't too bad considering Vayne had lethal tempo. The biggest mistake they made there was basically just over chasing. Auto attack E. Nice. That's huge. They both needed to turn on me. If they did that, I think most likely they would have won the interaction. But by chasing Soraka, whenever she lands her Qs, she gets speed ups. And uh, it basically bought us more time. Ultimately, Vayne could run her down. Because Vayne has a lot of movement speed in her kit on her passive when moving towards enemy champions. But it just slowed down the situation a lot for us. Our wave's in a bad spot. Probably should have finished pushing that before I backed. I didn't realize it. It is what it is. First first item back, you want to look to get as much of your recurve bow as possible. If you're having to play hyper defensive because you and your support have zero synergy. And the enemies have lots of poke. Then you're going to go for a vampiric instead. But if you're doing well with your support, go for recurve. Get your bork first item into Kraken, into Runons. So they're gonna get a lot of XP off this. We need to get on top of them. Get a big W on them. We have minion advantage, so they can't really engage. Apparently Kane's in our jungle. I didn't realize that at all. I'm actually down to fight this. That was really really forced by pike he's gonna die for that because we had minion advantage that was a huge mistake on their part maybe they thought they could do it because kane was in the area or because soraka wasn't that close to me but that was a huge oversight on their part three range minions does about the damage of an 80 carry in the early game so three range minions literally does more damage than a soraka auto right now 27 damage apiece 27 times three is 74. Soraka right now only has 54, so substantially more damage than her. It's nearly my attack damage, three range creeps, and they fought us in a giga wave. That was their oversight. 
Mm. I feel like we could fight this if we needed to. Yeah, Vayne's missing out on minions right now. I'll hit them both with an E and I'll back off. I think their wave's gonna push to me ultimately. I have minion wave blocking pie cook. Uh, or at least I thought I did. Got him with an auto attack W. Yeah, they're being a nuisance. We're really low on mana, so we're gonna go ahead and pop our biscuit. Biscuit heals you more the lower on health and mana you are. That's unfortunate. We're not gonna be able to kill Pike with my either, so I'm gonna hold on to it. They are not they're not gonna be able to spend their gold immediately. They're gonna have to base. So as long as Soraka comes back, we'll actually be in a really good spot because Vayne's missing a lot of HP. She doesn't have any lifesteal items, she's out of potions. We do need to thin this out though. This is way too many minions. If you need to thin it out and you don't want them to crash it, get your W down. Oof. Oh, that was really good by Pike. Holy crap. That was really well played. Whoa. That was not great for us. At least Soraka gets the XP. We'll go ahead, grab pickaxe, longsword. We'll grab a control word as well. We need some more vision. They're tied in CS. They're still down kills on us though. So still in a decent spot. They really stacked that CC real good. I needed to just play back farther. I tried to freeze the wave. But uh, probably should just let it crash. Didn't think Pike could reach me from there. Our wave's gonna giga build since it's reinforcing first. This would be a good time for us to fight them if they come back and they don't respect our minion advantage. We could hard push it with a W right now, but I feel like these guys are gonna make the mistake of trying to fight us on this wave. So what we're gonna do, get our W down on the minions and Vayne at the same time. We can get our stacks on her that way. That was really unfortunate for Vayne. They're playing so aggro nonstop, it's actually kind of insane. Players like that, I guess because he's playing Pike, he just wants to perma fight. That was kind of interesting. He's dead. Ah, oh, never mind. He had the visibility. Just gotta get some damage on him. He gets me at the hook. He kind of hooks me in the wrong spot. And one more auto. Nice. Soraka finishes the kill. Go ahead and pop our refills. I might actually be able to fake, fake leave here and kill the vein. She's playing so far back though, she may not fall for it. We'll see. We we're gonna auto attack W reset. You do that to get your slow as close on top of them as possible. That last auto we missed on her and accidentally hit the turret, otherwise it would have been a kill. That was our misplay. We needed to toggle target champion only, so we couldn't click on the turret. My, instead, my attack and the click was a little bit too sloppy. But regardless, we do get a plate off of it and she's gonna miss a lot of gold and XP, so. Still pretty good for us. This Pike is so crazy. He just wants to fight. We'll go ahead and reset here in a second. Another rune you can go that I didn't mention is Presence of Mind. It gives you a lot of mana back. It can be really useful. Ultimately though, if it's gonna be a really scrappy all-in style lane, I would rather have Triumph. That is so annoying. He keeps going in for these crazy all-in fights. All right, Bane gets the kill. Didn't think she was gonna be able to kill me that fast. I guess we did get ignited by Pike, so our heal cut was heavily reduced. Wow, I'm surprised the turret didn't kill her there with the turret buffs and whatnot. Pike's doing a good job stalling out our backs. He's making it really hard to actually uh, base. Got tier two boots now. 
You can use your Q from quite a bit of a distance. Starts out at 10 seconds of 10% bonus movement speed. And then per level, obviously you get more attack speed and the camouflage duration increases from 10 seconds all the way up to 14. Looks like Vayne is possibly resetting. We could do a soft freeze here. With the Bork, we'll have really, really good burst damage output. And since they're squishies, the burst will be enough to kill. Since they have more minions, we're gonna try to only last hit here. Set up some kind of freeze. I don't feel like dying to a gank. Plus Pike is starting to cause some issues. Plus we'll have more space to kill them this way. I don't think we have a real freeze built here though. Our wave's gonna reinforce first is the issue. Yeah, we don't have a real freeze. Pike went mid. I'm gonna go kill Vayne. She needs to sit under her turret. Auto attack W. Down she goes. You wanna use your E when you can no longer reach them with your autos because your E way outranges your auto attacks as you can see. That's why you E last. It also gives you more time to stack up your poison on them to maximize its damage because for each stack of your poison you have, your E will do more damage. So it works really well to just E last. So what Pike gets for roaming, it's really hard to roam against a Twitch. You can just kill your AD carry. Your AD carry has to be extremely disciplined and sit underneath turret. Who is that? It's Cass coming bot. I'm gonna kill her. Auto attack W reset. I didn't line myself up on the wall, so she wasn't able to get me that time. Feels bad for her. Hopefully Pike jumps the wall. He may not know where I am though, so he might hesitate to do that. Oh, he must be going this way. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, he didn't know we were here. Feels bad for Pike. That's really good. I say we take the red buff. Not sure where Kane's been all game. He hasn't been playing around his bot lane at all. To be fair though, his bot lane oftentimes isn't in lane because they're dead because they're constantly trying to fight us all into the death. Can I hit the ward please? I'm missing my autos on the ward. Auto attack E. Oh, I wasn't able to get it. That sucks. <laughs> I was trying to break the control ward, but there's no button to do that, I don't think. Target wards only. There's a hotkey for target champions only. It's this right here. But for target wards only, I don't think that's a thing. Feels bad. We could could have potentially picked Vayne there. Pike was at a stagger. We're out of mana though. Without mana, you miss out on your main source of damage, which is your E and your R. Gonna get as much of our Kraken here as possible. Buy another control ward. Dealing with champions that like to hide. It's really important to have control wards so you can see them, get vision of the bush, or just see where they're going while they're camouflaged. The worst matchups on Twitch are, uh, it's the Tom Kench Senna. Seraphine's also challenging. Basically things that Giga outrange him are really annoying to play against. You can always play for your level six with that being said, but still. Canceled an auto there. Siobhan should be able to finish this kill. Nice. We'll go ahead and take this turret and start roaming. There's no reason to stay in lane after you've uh, taken the outer turret. You just set yourself up to die because they'll collapse on you from every angle. After you take turret, usually go mid to try to take the enemies outer turret. That being said, we could probably kill Vayne here in between turrets. She's not going to expect it. We are at a mana though. Oh, it's worded. Rip. We'll submarine on this cast. Use our Q from distance. Get that 10% bonus movement speed. I don't think we can W because we don't have enough mana. If we W, we won't be able to use our E. All right, down she goes. Use our Q reset off the kill. Whenever you're about to get a kill or assist, you should be spamming Q so that we can use it as soon as possible. Stay on top of the target. Plus, by using it as soon as possible, you'll get access to its 45% attack speed for five seconds once you come out of it. Pretty important. Vayne does have shield bow. 
I would like to reset. We don't have mana is the thing. Go ahead and sell that, grab that. Mana Moon is an okay item on Twitch. It's not bad by any means. It's, it's decent. You usually don't want to rush it though because it doesn't give you any crit. And Twitch is all about the big crits. Only reason you go Bork first is it synergizes really well with your Keystone and also the play style of autoing them up into big E's because it slows them, speeds you up, lets you get all your poison you need to get on them. So after the Bork though, it's all about building up enough crit to be able to access Infinity Edge properly. She doesn't have a R, I don't think. Oh, that's awkward. I popped my R at a really weird time. She goes, he goes in for the Naka. We're just going to kite it out. Move him between each auto. Kite back to Soraka. Kite away from Raptor Wall. We'll finish him with E. Hit with an auto attack. We're still invisible. It doesn't pop. It doesn't take off your invisibility until it actually makes you invisible. So you can auto while your Q is about to activate. You should basically always be auto attacking, <laughs> unless you need to stay invisible for the movement speed to either run, chase him down, or to escape. Gonna take this. Get our mana back. Nice. Cast R is going to be up now. She'll be a little bit harder to kill. Go ahead and stay here for a second. Get as much of this turret as we can. Since they're all spawning in from base, it's pretty safe. We knew it couldn't collapse on us very fast. It's time to back off. Get our Kraken Slayer. Ooh. That stunned me. Wow. Let's turn sideways. We have a teammate coming. Two of them are mid. Dragon's up in 40. It's just time to reset. We can get cracking. Please. I don't really want to fight this. My E wouldn't have quite killed a Garen there until the Kata went back in. I need the Soraka pill. We're going to use our Q speed up. Oh, well played by the cane. I did, wasn't able to juke his knock up there. We almost got away with our Q speed up. Ultimately, it was a fight I didn't want to take. Katarina decided she wanted to fight it. So, we fought it. We'll go ahead now and get that sweet, sweet hurricane. Lots of AoE damage, really good attack speed. Enemies are getting big shutdowns on us, which isn't ideal. Shivana should lose this fight, actually. At least she got Dragon. That makes it kind of worth it. Especially if we can end up getting Soul. If we don't get Soul, then it kind of sucks because she just gave 750 gold to Vayne because she has shut down on her head. At this point in the game, you don't really split push on Twitch. You only team fight. The only time you're really just off with only your support or by yourself is generally lane phase. You're very squishy. And a lot of champions can run you down. If they have Oracle Lens on, they can see you, even while you're camouflaged with your Q. Let Soraka get some of that gold. Our team doesn't really want a group, is the thing. They're just kind of off doing their own thing. Pike's low, Gurn's missing some health. Let's look at... They don't have really much armor. Cast is about to walk into us, it looks like. I think she's in that bush. Get a W on her, pop the R. I'm not even going to E until she's out of my auto attack range. Your R auto range and your E auto range are similar, but your E auto range is still longer. Or I should say your E cast range is longer than your R range is. So you still try to hold on to your E as long as possible. Just in case they flash away and they get out of your auto range, you can bop and kill them with E. Ran past the cast. I knew we had to if we were going to get to the pike. Cast isn't super fed, so she can't kill Soraka fast enough. Kane's getting pretty big. 
Throck is not with me right now, so I'm fairly vulnerable. I don't like this fight. Kane can survive for a really long time with his R if he chooses to. Like this. So, we couldn't kill him fast even if we wanted to there. The only reason he got that low is because we weren't fighting him, so he's just let he, letting himself hold on to his R. Hits me with his stride breaker. Got him with the slow, and now he gets kited out. Goodbye, Garen. That's why having heal is pretty important on Twitch. You need heal or exhaust normally. I prefer heal. But uh, exhaust is fine too. This is weird. I can't get to this fight. It's too far away. We can get vision with our W. I don't know if we ever did that on lane, but yeah, your W gives you vision, whether it's an over a wall or in a bush, the center of it gives you a little bit so you can stay on your target. Oh, that's not good. Oh yeah, we died. We didn't even get the pike. Pike did get the shutdown at least, but we probably just got Soraka killed. That was a bit of an int on our part. We'll grab Hurricane and go in for the IE. Titanic isn't bad on Twitch, but hurt, but the uh, Infinity Edge is more damage. This is pretty much max damage Twitch build. Bork, Kraken, Hurricane, and the IE. Just need to team fight. I'm throwing a little bit here, taking fights we don't need to take. Ultimately, on Twitch, you have a higher AoE damage output than any AD carry in the game than other maybe a Samira R, but it's not always easiest for Samira to R because it's an up close, practically melee ability to where mid late game, you don't have to do anything flashy or crazy like a Kalista has to do. You just sit, wait for the fight to break out, and then you blow everyone up with your R. Every time we die, it's because we're just like forcing a fight essentially. nice having hurricane you don't have to use any mana to push the wave Just push it with autos pike's dead these guys are grouped up pretty tight though got her with that sweet sweetie we can get vision with our w here Not bad. Not bad at all. The W gave us a vision. I'm glad I got to show you guys an example of how useful W vision can be. And then they didn't like that, so they surrendered. We'll take a look at damage dealt and damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we did have the most in the game, very nice. Looking at damage taken, we had taken the most on our team. A little surprising. I guess it kind of makes sense because Soraka was healing us and we were getting punched in the face a lot. For runes, got incredibly high value. If you guys enjoyed this Twitch 80 carry gameplay, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.